Hi guys, good evening. Piotr here is Delight Finance Global YouTube channel and as usual, it's my pleasure to be with you. What we are going to discuss is the stock related to the COVID. Well, of course, we are going to discuss Pfizer stocks today and we are going to try to figure it out if there is any kind of the space for the Pfizer stock to still rise in price. Okay, so overall investors have been trying, I been trying to eye the Pfizer stock uh, ever since the company began shipments and became part of the mass vaccination program. Right, to be honest with you, me, I uh, took two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, so well, that was my choice, right? Well, some puzzled by the market's treatment of Pfizer having expected the price to skyrocket. Unfortunately, well, so far the shares have had a slow and steady status rather than the huge moon rise. Uh, still, when it comes to the uh, company future outlook seems bright, making investors wonder whatever they should jump in right now. Will Pfizer stocks go up? Well, let's check the monthly chart at the very beginning. And immediately we see that something wrong has happened Around, around the $50 mark, right, price. Now, that's what is immediately for me as an alert. On the other hand, what we have to take into the consideration this monthly chart is that the current pullback what we have right now when it comes to the Pfizer stock, we are testing the latest weakness around 44.50, right? Now, the whole thing when it comes to the monthly chart is the case if we are going to be able to hold that level. Now, the COVID scenario is a one thing. The second thing is the huge rise when it comes to the inflation. And here we might get the negative impact when it comes to overall market. So really watch out 4450 when it comes to the monthly chart, because if we are going to get the close below, then we are reopening levels close to yeah 32 31 mark and it could be like this when it comes to the Pfizer right so a little bit of the cautious is uh, or should be take into the consideration when we are talking the monthly chart of the Pfizer stock overall uh, the development, uh, the, the Pfizer story started in 1849 and 100 years later, 1942, so almost 100 years later, uh, the Pfizer became publicly traded company. Well, the $5.9 million IPO, IPO was one of the largest of that year, with the shares valued the price of $24.75 per share. On the very first day, the company reached a market cap of $12.4 million. That's very, very interesting story. Currently, when it comes to the Pfizer stock, it's a component of the following with stock market indices. S&P 500, S&P 500 Healthcare, S&P 100, Dow Jones Composite Average, Dow Jones Industrial 
average. So what is going to be the key drivers when it comes to 2021 and in the future? Before we are going to go deeply in the details, let's have a look what we have when it comes to the weekly chart of the Pfizer stock, right? Here we come. So what we were discussing 4450 when it comes to the monthly chart it's also visible here uh, on the weekly chart because that's the weakness we've seen with the break to the downside when it comes to 3850 right and if that's going to happen then as i mentioned the monthly chart we might see the move lower but i think as long as we are above 30 level and going a little bit lower 27 in a medium and long term perspective we are really really good to go a little bit higher of course another wave of the COVID could be the case here and well that could be the main driver when it comes to the Pfizer stocks right so an 11 figure revenue outlook in 2021 is not far-fetched although it depends on how quickly Pfizer can produce and distribute its COVID-19 vaccine there are many indirect factors that may change the Pfizer stock forecast. So let's have a look closely. Long-term safety profile of COVID-19 vaccines. Duration of immunity. Well, if you do remember, we were discussing uh, during one of the videos that, well, for example, Merkel is in favor of the vaccination based on the one year time. So each and every year uh, we might have to get another dose uh, when it comes to the uh, COVID-19 uh, vaccine. Effectiveness compared to the Moderna and other vaccines, especially Pfizer vaccine works better. Here I see the best possible thing when it comes to the Pfizer stock, right? If uh, based on the studies, uh, we are going to get the numbers, uh, if we are going to get uh, more information, and for example, if we are going to get the information that the really, really uh, Pfizer vaccine is uh, working better, that could be the main factor that could be the main driver um, when it comes to the uh, Pfizer uh, Pfizer vaccine right so that's something we have to take uh, into the consideration of course there is a risk of variants that can evade the vaccine in induced immunity uh, in that case uh, strongly encourage you to see what is going on in UK with all those new uh, muted uh, cases, right? Untested COVID-19 vaccine uh, regimes. Next one is a research and development potential. Here we have the extension of review of uh, Arb Arbo, oh sorry guys, Arbo sitting new applications for the treatment of moderate to serve uh, atopic uh, Dermatitis uh, application for uh, Tanzimab as a treatment of um, osteoporosis pain, etc., etc. So overall things related to the COVID-19 uh, as a main factor, uh, main driver. Of course, the of course the cash flows, uh, manufacturing capacity. Uh, as well as the Pfizer index inclusion. Because here the, is the thing, 
Uh, as I mentioned, it could be very positive if the, uh, there is a, uh, well, when we are going to get the comparison, right? That, the, for example, the Pfizer vaccine, uh, vaccine is uh, the very good one, it's working better than the others. But of course, the capacity, right? Uh, how fast the Pfizer may deliver uh, the vaccine uh, to the market could uh, be another factor. Uh, so we were discussing what could be the drivers. Let's get back to uh, TA technical analysis. This time, let's have a look what we have when it comes to the daily, daily chart. And in that case, uh, well, again, the level close to 40 is going back as the main, really main support and demand level when it comes to Pfizer. So we do have strong support level around 42 and 40 level. If we are going to give up here, then based on the daily chart, we have 3780 and then again levels close to 3330 as discussed before. Well, trying to make the verdict well i would wait a bit i would watch the overall market sentiment of course the one thing is all the factors we discussed related to the covid 19 on the other hand the overall market sentiment based on for example rising inflation numbers do your own homework do your own research before risking any kind of the money that was my pleasure to discuss the pfizer stocks with you we were discussing possible support and demand levels uh, when it comes to the upside sky is the limit as long as we are holding earlier mentioned levels with that being said, wish you a great next trading day. See you around, take care and goodbye.